In this session, I'm going to show you how to create a custom background for your YouTube channel. First, make certain you're logged into YouTube, and then pull down your username here and go to your channel, and then click on Channel Settings. Now, on the very first tab here, Appearance, you can change your background image, and you can also change the color, the background color of your channel. So if we scroll down a little further, this is going to give us a preview mode only, so that when we change things, we can see how they look. In this example, I have a blue background color, and then I have images of my latest books on either side of my channel. Now it can be a challenge to try and figure out how to place these images so that they are aligned nicely with the other elements on your channel. But luckily there are some templates out there that can help us do that. One that I like is by robertsproductions.net. Here is the URL right here. Since the YouTube platform changes periodically, uh, Robert's Productions actually updates their template every year. Uh, you can download the template as a Photoshop document here. And when we open that up, we get a template that looks like this. Now for those of you not familiar with Photoshop, I'm going to show you an alternative in a moment. But for those of you who are, this template comes with a number of layers that you can hide or make visible. And when you make all of the layers visible, what you see is a superimposed YouTube channel behind the template. And that's on layer one. When we hide layer one, what we see are the areas that we know are going to be blocked out by the channel. And then here are the areas here that we can put our images as they'll, they will be visible. And we can certainly put images in here that have a bleed and we would just bleed them over into this area here. But in this example, I'm not going to have a bleed. What I want to do is place one of my book images over here and another one over here so that I can get the effect in our example. Okay, so if I go back to the channel, I know that my goal is to get a one of the book images over here on the right and one of them over here on the left, and I want them to align nicely with the very top of the YouTube channel here. So to do that, I'm back of a template now. I just placed one of the book images over here on the left and one on the right, and I aligned it with this top guide right here because when I turn on this other layer I see that that's going to make them align nicely with the top of the channel which is what my goal is. Now when I hide all of the other layers what I'm left with are my two book images that I can then take and crop and then save. Now I'm doing this for those of you who are familiar with Photoshop. You want to save for web devices and then you also want to pull this down and save it as a ping so that you still have this transparent background. So once that is done I can go back to my channel click on choose file find the ping image that I just created and then I have some other choices here. I can either have the image scroll along with the user or have it remain fixed or I can also have it repeat horizontally, vertically, or both. Now I do want mine to repeat vertically. That's why I only made an image with one book on either side because I want it to repeat all the way down the sides of a channel. Now the other thing that I want to do here is show you how to change the colors. You can click down here for choose a color. You can choose any of these standard colors or you can put in your own hex color right here. Now what I did is I pulled out a color from this book right here which was a lighter blue which I knew would go with either one of the books and I put in that, that hex figure right here. So once you're finished, click Done Editing. And so now you have a background image that aligns nicely with the rest of your channel. Now I realize that not all of you have Photoshop. One option is to get a software called GIMP2. It's an open source alternative to Photoshop. But for those of you who don't even want to hassle with that, you can go to another source. It's called pimpmychannel.com. And if you go to the YouTube background template, you'll see a number of options. You can download a Photoshop document like we just saw with the Roberts Productions example. Or you can download a JPEG. So this template provides you a way to use just about any image editor to create your background by just using this as a guide. And that concludes this session.